Okay, so in the first part of the series, we talked about identity and how we shouldn't let our perception of ourselves prevent us from moving forward and changing what we do in life. And now we have to talk about the elephant in the room, which is what most people struggle with a lot of the times. And it's that initial search of motivation. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, which you probably are, my name is Sabrina. I am a human based in Argentina and in this channel I'm going to be talking about things that are of interest to me like productivity, maybe personal finance and self-discovery because I believe that we should all discover ourselves a little bit every day. In today's video we are going to be doing part two of the Atomic Habits book review because I wrote a lot about this book and I could not, for the love of God, make it just one single video. So this is part two of a four part series and we are going to be talking about motivation. If you want to see the previous part where I talk about identity, make sure to click something here and it will take you to that video and then you can come back here and look at part two. But if you just want to talk about motivation, then this is the place where you can stay at. Okay, so let's get started. Now, I have a very strong opinion when it comes to using motivation as the determinant factor when it comes to your progress and actually taking steps towards that thing that you want to do. If you look on the internet for the definition of motivation, the Merriam-Webster dictionary would, will bring up the following definitions and it will say the act or process of giving someone a reason for doing something, the condition of being eager to act or work, a force or influence that causes some Someone to do something. Now, if we take a look at these definitions, it's very easy to realize that none of these definitions make any allusion to having long lasting effects over time. It is very easy for a person to be eager or excited to do something when they first venture into an activity or when they are set in their New Year's resolutions. It is very easy to find a reason why they want to do something. But actually going through with it and maintaining your efforts through time is a truly complicated matter. Being constantly motivated implies that we will be our best selves 100% of the times. That there should be no struggle when we want to do something because when we set to accomplish our goals, we have a clear reason why we want to do them and we are eager to put in the work that it takes. In reality, that is very rarely the case. In the book, Clear talks about how one of the biggest issues that we have when it comes to implementing and incorporating the new habits that we want to have in our lives comes precisely from staying motivated. You see, our brain is consistently working towards cataloging the actions that we take as either useful or useless. And since our brains also tend to prioritize immediate gratification and most of the habits that we struggle or that we want to implement in our lives usually bring their benefits later down the road, it is very easy for our brains to catalog them as useless. And we give up before we even reach a point in which we actually see the benefits. We are our own worst critics. When we set out to accomplish something, we can be very easily discouraged when we don't see progress in the first couple of days or maybe even weeks. Especially because for most of the things that we want to do, progress is basically unnoticeable until we reach a certain threshold. The biggest example that I personally have is when I started exercising. I had been exercising five days a week, maybe even sometimes two times a day when my personal trainer came to my house and I didn't feel any difference. And while other people were looking at me and they say they, they said that they saw the difference in me, I didn't. I didn't really feel it. It took me six months before I started to look at myself in the mirror and actually recognize that I could also see the difference. So how can we ensure that we stick to these habits long enough for us to actually reap the benefits and see the progress? Well, one of the things that is very important to keep in mind, besides the, that I believe is very important to keep in mind, besides the change in identity that we discussed in the previous video, is some of the things that Clear talks about in the book, and that is, Massive success is not equal to massive action, and breakthrough moments are often the result of many previous actions. 
So when you think that what you're doing is pointless, remember that every action that you take is actually casting a vote towards the person that you want to be. And the more votes that you keep casting towards that identity, no matter how small, the closer that you are to actually making it a reality. He also says that one of the most effective things that you can do in order to maintain that sense of purpose and novelty is to find people who share the same interests that you do or who have the same qualities that you want to adopt. As crazy as it may seem, peer pressure is a thing and it can work in your favor or it can work against you. When we're first trying new things, we find ourselves in a very vulnerable position. We are very susceptible to criticism and the most seemingly innocent negative comment can really impact our motivation and derail us from, obje from our objective. So in order to avoid this, you, if you surround yourself with people who share the same interests and same, the same purpose that you do, you're going to find support in them when it's very difficult to find it within yourself. So when you feel frustrated because you have been going to the gym for three weeks and you still don't have six pack abs, don't decide to throw everything away. Remember that you are actually in the right direction to get in what you want. As long as you keep moving forward and you keep casting votes, you are bound to get to the finish line. Or in this, per in this case, you're bound to become the person that you want to be. Now, that is all for today. I feel like this has been the shortest video that I have ever made, but it's only because I am breaking down these series of videos into four videos. Otherwise, it would become a hugely long video, which I don't want to make. So um, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to click the like button because I'm going to be making more videos like this if you do so. And if you want to see the rest of these four part series videos, you can go to this link here if you want to check out the video about identity and make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest of the videos that are coming after this one. Also, be sure to check out the links in the description below if you want to open a, uh, what? an international bank account, an online international bank account with several different currencies. Be sure to click on my referral link for WISE. And if you want to start investing in crypto and you want to start buying some of those delicious cryptocurrencies that are going up in price or that are not going up in price but are going to go up in price eventually in the future, probably, you can go and click the referral link below. And if you want to start learning new things and improving your creative output, be sure to click on my referral link for Skillshare in the description down below. And I will see you all in the next video.